So, uh, we have the Trillion Trees program. We have so many different programs. I do love the environment, but what I want is the cleanest, crystal clear water. We are working so well with industry, but here's what we can't do. Look at China, how filthy it is. Look at Russia. Look at India. It's filthy. The, the air is filthy. The Paris Accord, I took us out because we were going to have to spend trillions of dollars, and we were treated very unfairly. When they put us in there, they did us a great disservice. They were going to take away our businesses. I will not sacrifice tens of millions of jobs, thousands and thousands of companies because of the Paris Accord. The global warming is an existential threat to humanity. We have a moral obligation to deal with it. Our health and our jobs are at stake. That's what's happening. And what right now, by the way, Wall Street firms indicated that my plan, my, my plan will in fact create 18.6 million jobs, 7 million more than his. This is from Wall Street. And I'll create $1 trillion more in economic growth than his proposal does. Not on climate, just on the economy. President Trump, you're They came out and said very strongly, $6,500 will be taken away from families under his plan, that his plan is an economic disaster. If you look at what he wants to do, you know, the if you look at his plan, no, his environmental plan, you know who developed it? AOC plus three. They know nothing about the climate. I mean, she's got a good line of stuff, but she knows nothing about the climate. And they're all hopping through hoops for AOC plus three. The fastest growing industry in America are is, is, is the electric, the, uh, excuse me, uh, solar energy and wind. He thinks wind causes cancer, windmills. It's the fastest growing jobs, and they pay good prevailing wages, 45, 50 bucks an hour. We can grow and we can be cleaner if we go the route I'm proposing. I know more about wind than you do. Oh. It's extremely expensive, kills all the birds, <laughs> it's very intermittent, got a lot of problems, and they happen to make the windmills in both Germany and China. And the fumes coming up, if you're a believer in carbon emission, the fumes coming up to make, make these massive windmills is more than anything that we're talking about with natural gas, which is very clean. One other thing. Find me a scientist solar. Say that. I love solar, but solar doesn't quite have it yet. It's not powerful yet to, to really run our big, beautiful factories that we need to compete with the world. So False. it's all a pipe dream. But you know what we'll do? We're going to have the greatest economy in the world. But if you want to kill the all economy, right. get rid of your oil industry. You want and, and what about fracking? All right, now, let me, let me, have, let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. Y you said it I, on tape. I did. Show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on the website. The fact of the matter is Show he's list. flat lying. Would you rule out banning fracking? I do rule out banning fracking because the answer, we need, we need other industries to transition to get to ultimately a complete zero emissions by 2025. What I will do with fracking over time is make sure that we can capture the emissions from the fracking capture the emissions from gas. We can do that, and we can do that by investing money in doing it. But it's a transition to that. I have one more question excuse in this pod, and then we, we have... Excuse me. He was against fracking. He said it. I will show that to you tomorrow. I Good. am against fracking. Until he got the nomination, went to Pennsylvania, then he said, but you know what, Pennsylvania? He'll be against it very soon, because his party is totally against fracking it. Fracking on federal land, I said. No fracking you and or fracking. oil on federal land. Let me ask this I final did. question.